more and more conscious of the color of their teeth. My name is Dr. Lee Goss. I'm Dr. Alexander Goss. We would love to share with you some ways that you can keep your teeth nice and bright and bright, especially after a professional teeth cleaning. Okay, so one of the things that I tell my patients after their in-office whitening is that it's very important to avoid doing the things that cause the stain to begin with, like drinking black coffee, red wine, or smoking, especially immediately following your whitening because that's the period of time when you're most at risk for that stain to go back to the original shape. What else can you do? Um, I definitely think it's important for every person to have a rinse that they rinse with them on a daily basis, like a Listerine whitening rinse. This is a peroxide-based compound. It's very healthy for your teeth and gums, and it actually does work in terms of helping keep your teeth nice and bright. Another recommendation that I have is to visit your local pharmacy. There's a plethora of over-the-counter products that are very good for at-home whitening care. Uh, one of these would be Press White Strips, which work very well. And there's another product which recently came on the market called a whitening pen. You just paint this substance right on your teeth, immediately following doing something like drinking red wine or coffee, and it can help to counteract the, effect, the staining effects of those, those substances. Anything else? Well, you know, there are a lot of gimmicky things out there, and I think worth mentioning, uh, chewing gums that claim to whiten teeth are completely a gimmick. So don't be fooled by the chewing gums that say, you know, if you chew this gum, it's going to make your teeth whiten. It's just not going to work. So those are our tips for maintaining a nice white smile. Hope this helpful.